What's happening all my tool peeps? Thanks for stopping back by the channel right here today with the Rust Belt Mechanic. This week we've got a nice plethora of tools here for you guys to check out on Rust Belt's nifty tools of the week. We've got a couple of different things from quite a few different manufacturers, so better stay tuned. We've got some neat stuff coming for you. So first on our lineup today we've got our Relay Bypass Kit. This kit number is 9036 and I got this off of the Matco truck. It's a three piece kit. It is designed to go into place where the relays are. You just take a relay out, plug these in, and then it's got a nice little on off switch right on the top of all the relays. I got this specific one on the side and then this three piece kit came in that one kit. I'll be sure to put links to these down in the description below. This is gonna be the one single one that I would add to that kit. This has been able to take care of probably 95% of the US based relays that I've been working on at least over the last couple of weeks. It's been a real helpful time saver too when I'm able to go in to see like an AC compressor is working or not. I'm able to just take the relay out, plug this in, be able to click it over to see if the power side's working at all. If it is, then I know it's a control side of the relay. It helps out, it cuts the time, and it's a really neat tool to be able to have. I would definitely recommend this one. Next tool on our list is gonna be the tester for the cigarette lighter. This is a Lyle tool, tool number 32150. This is a nice, easy tool. It's able to be able to help you guys out with your diagnostics inside of the car. It's really helpful in the way that it plugs right into the cigarette lighter and this light will then light up to show that you have 12 volts of power. Nice incandescent light, lights up really bright. It's not like an LED that's gonna give you full lit light even if there's only three volts of power there. It's a standard light bulb so it's gonna be able to tell you if it's a dim source or a full powered source. On top of that, it's gonna give you two different poles right here. It's gonna give you negative, your ground, and your full battery positive feed that comes from your cigarette lighter. So if you have any other testing to do inside of the vehicle under the dash, instead of trying to get your test light hooked onto different ground sources or at the door checks and then you mistakenly slam the door and slam your test leads in it, this is inside the car. Just plug it right into the cigarette lighter. You're testing for power, it fuses underneath the dash, hook your clamp right onto the negative side, and you've got a nice ground source. Or if you're using, say, a power probe, and you'd like to power up the blower motor or the, another relay or something else under the dash, you've got a power source right there as well. It's really easy to use, pretty cheap. I'll have the description down below. Next on our list is gonna be the Air Chuck from Tusi. I believe that's how you pronounce it at least, T-U-I-S-Y. I actually picked this one up off of Amazon. It had really great reviews on there and I've been testing out quite a few different Air Chucks. I've used a Snap-on one, I've used a Matco one, I've used a different Lyles Tools one, and I think the one that I had for the longest was a Sears uh, branded one, so it was along the cheaper side, but this one had the greatest amount of reviews. It's got a backlit display, so usually right when you plug it in on the tire, the backlit display will come on right with it. It runs uh, two AAA batteries, which are easily accessible on the back of it with two uh, Phillips screws. You're able to change units between PSI, bar, you can see right here, kilopascals, four different units there for you guys to use, and this thing is actually very accurate. I've used this multiple times, checked it with the tire pressure monitoring systems of today's cars, and it's always been within one single PSI. You've got a regulator here at the bottom to be able to adjust your flow rate, and then also on the end, there is a click lock style, so you're able to put it onto your tire stem, and it locks itself on place. You don't have to sit there and hold it, pushing it against the tire stem the whole time, freeing up an extra hand for you lock it on there and if the tire pressure is too high right here in the middle there is a nice little button to be able to push 
to bleed off the air that's inside of the tire right there easy uh, fittings the fittings that adapt to the standard uh, male uh, fittings for the shop it does come with that adapter there in the kit and it was a really good price I want to say it was like 30 some bucks but I'll again be sure to put the link down in the description for this one as I've come to find out this has been the best one for the money the last thing that I really wanted to say about this one was it fits in your shallow drawers the biggest thing I absolutely hated about the Matt and Matco different air chucks that they had was that they were really bulky the really bulky ones that you had the front facing gauges they were just really big and bulky and I didn't really like that because a lot of my other small air tools air chucks and everything went into one of my thinner drawers so this is able to fit into the thinner one inch drawer one inch depth drawer without any rubbing so it's able to slide right in there and it works really fantastically this would be one of my best air chucks that I've had since I've been a mechanic and I would definitely recommend that one and of course we couldn't have a nifty tool segment with at least putting a snap-on tool into the review uh, this one is the snap-on 25 piece screw extractor set the part number on this one is rex 25 b this is a very nice kit I got it on a really good special deal and this set of extractors is one that I would highly recommend it has not broken on me yet I haven't gotten one of these to break some of the sizes in these as you can see are kind of outrageously large and I don't know how much I would be able to use these as I don't even think I have drill bits to drill holes out this size the main ones that I have used are the first you know three or four in the list right here they have the reverse tap thread helical design with a nice conical tip to them as well it fits a standard socket so you don't have to go and find any of this uh, specialty extractors with the square bit ends to them now comparing them over to like the 10 piece extractor and drill set which has the reversible drill tips I really am not a big fan of these ones guys the reverse drill tips those are nice for drilling things out but usually on these cones the cone and the helical extractor portion is very shallow and it as you can see on this one it actually rounds off and grooves off way too easily I find those things grooving off way too much and then again the square tip on the end that you have to have the specialty socket to adapt it to I like using my standard sockets on these guys so these ones will be put on to the back burner and I've been using these ones I've used them about I say 10 to 15 times and I don't see any kind of major wear or damage to them as well my snap-on guy says that he'd be willing to lifetime warranty these out as well so I don't know if that's the the full use of the snap-on warranty on it but that's what my guy ended up saying I would definitely recommend these if you're looking to get a nice set of extractors so the last thing that I'd like to put into this segment is something that I want to do a little bit of outreach to the tool and automotive community all of the guys that have been commenting on my videos I've been noticing you and I notice all of your comments I also wanted to help do some promotion for a couple of the littler guys that also do some really good following and they have some really awesome channels out there I've been looking through a couple of the smaller ones and there's been a couple of diamonds in the rough one of which I'm gonna do a nice shout out for old car auto guy reviews he does a nice channel he's got a car dealership small one up in Canada of all places not in the US but he does a fantastic job with doing some reviews on automotive things some fixes some projects that he does in his spare time and to boot he does really good jobs on doing his camera his videography and his editing skills also really easy to follow really nice guy to talk to and he has some really good reviews on some actual things that you guys might want to see so make sure you guys go and check out his channel I'll put it up here and I will put it down in the description below make sure to give him a thumbs up as well one other bit of advice that I would like to give to you guys if you would like to be featured on this part of the channel is to have a couple of things in mind first is going to be make sure that you're regular on your content some guys that uh, contact me they always say that yeah pl please check my stuff out see what you think about it and I end up liking it the bad thing is 
Two weeks later, I see no content. Three weeks later, no content. Once a month, maybe. That's not gonna be something that's gonna catch a whole lot of subscribers for you guys. Make sure that you guys are regular and you're on source for your content. Some of the stuff may be a little different, maybe automotive stuff, maybe tool related, maybe just guys shooting the shit and being able to talk about whatever you really want to. Make sure that you guys have consistent content. I would definitely recommend for that one. Well, that's been another great episode for you guys today. I hope you guys enjoyed this kind of content. Make sure you guys go and check out my Instagram, Facebook pages, as well as the toolheadscrate.com. That one is still going on. And don't forget, we are also shipping to Canada and Australia now. For you guys who are looking to get the Toolheads Crate, it's gonna be a really awesome thing. The first one is gonna be shipping out March the 15th. Thank you guys, I appreciate you guys tuning in. Make sure you hit that thumbs up, like the channel, give a subscribe and turn on that bell notification for getting notified when I come out with cool, awesome content for you guys to enjoy. I appreciate it and you guys stay awesome.